Does every couple who decide they're going to live together need a cohabitation agreement? Probably not. But if you're in a long-term relationship and you don't intend to get married, but you do want your partner to have some rights that a spouse would have, or if you're going to buy property together, you're going to want to have an agreement. Hi, I'm Claire Puro, a family and divorce mediator and attorney. When I used to do real estate law before I became a full-time mediator, I saw what happened when parties bought property together and they didn't have any agreement. They would come when their relationship broke up and they couldn't even agree on whether they were going to sell the property, if they did, who was going to take what share. And that's not the kind of fight that you want to get into when you're already going through the emotional trauma of breaking up. And if you can't settle, you're going to end up having to go to court, which is definitely not something you wanna do. And sadly, from my personal experience, I've seen couples who have been living together for years and years in a home that's owned by just one of them. They didn't make any plans for what would happen if that person died. And when that person did pass away, Right after the funeral, pretty much, the family came in and told the surviving partner that they had to leave. Clearly, that's not something that the person who passed away would have wanted. But again, there was no agreement as to what would happen in those circumstances and no estate documents to back it up. So if you're living together and you want to have any of those protections, do the agreement when your relationship is good. Not when it's breaking up, and certainly not at when there's no time to do an agreement. That's it for now. You can click the link to my website in the video description and check out my blogs and videos on family law and mediation. Be well.